So what we've actually worked on is, is whereas these would all be second inversions, like this, uh, and really tough, because you're having to move up, we're actually going to drop that first note and actually harmonise them as root chords, like this, but just play the two notes. Which is much easier, isn't it? Much easier, and actually it, it gives a simplicity which actually suits the song. So it's yeah. technically easier to do, and it sounds better. So that, that's that's the essence of Michael Mulroy's style of playing. Why make something complicated when you can make it easier and sound better at the same time? With the arpeggio on the left hand, you see, you don't need to put in all three notes of the chord. Mm -hmm. So it's a good little point, isn't it? Sometimes, yeah, it's uh, especially when when the tune goes outside of the inversion, like here, it does make things difficult. Yeah. So there we are. Right. So let's just see that bottom line then. Okay. And you can demonstrate okay. it. Right, you haven't got time for that. It's going to be a B flat. Do, do, do exactly what you did. Stop. And then E chord. Straight, because you've only got two beats. Yes. So you need, you need an E. It's going to be E. What? E. Just, never mind what, just play E, D, G sharp. E. What? Yes. D what tune. D tune. Da, da, C sharp. Yes, and then it back to an A chord. Uh, yes, right, because what you haven't got down here is an E. It, there needs to be an E chord in here. See, music out. So you need to stick an E7 before the C sharp. Yeah, before, which, okay. yeah, E7 right there, which is fab. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, that's absolutely great. Well done. And you do more of this. No, <laughs> oh, great, yeah. One, it's great, it's creative, isn't it? And to see something like this that you've done yourself and lay it all out. Would I use, would I uh, like still do the chords for the whole song or would I just do two notes like I did for the last line? No, that's just for the, that's just, no, everything else was fine. It was oh. just for the right hand. Okay. So just put these up, put roots. They're all roots, aren't they? Apart from root, yeah, yeah root. Root. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. Right, and right here we can add a little note. So, d d go from there. And that's a start. D -d -d -d. That's a first. Uh, it's only a single note, don't worry about that. Okay. Right, so here, here we've got a full C chord. So this is an interesting, we've got, a, we've got a C chord with a bit of a gap, haven't we? There's nothing much going on. Yeah. Let's play from the start of the line, and then we'll... Um, 